Hey there stampers and thanks for joining me today. Today we are going to be creating this gorgeous card using some fun new embellishments from the Spring Mini catalog, the artisan kit, the flower trim, and also this wow. I'm going to show you how to dye these flowers from the flower trim. Super gorgeous, elegant. This would make a good Valentine, a good wedding card, bridal shower. Perfect for spring, which is not here in New England today, as we are experiencing a little bit of a blizzard. Ah, what's a few feet of snow anyway? Good time for stamping. Let's get started. All right, so what I've got laid out to show you here are these gorgeous pieces that are in this artisan's embellishment kit. They are fabulous. They work great together or apart. We're gonna take some of this gorgeous lace for our background. And although it does come with these fun flowers that are absolutely beautiful, I'll use the flower trim. Look at this. There's like a hundred of these little puppies on here. <laughs> it goes forever. We'll be using these guys today. We'll start with our card assembly and I'm gonna, gonna wrap some of this lace right around a crumb cake panel. The dimensions are at my blog. You can type in this URL or you can click the link in the description below and go right to the project page with all of the supplies, dimensions, and everything else you need to make this project. I'm just putting snail adhesive right on the back of this lace. And we'll stick that right in the front of our crumb cake panel and tuck the edges underneath. They're a little ornery. Just put a little snail on the edge there. That'll learn ya. Then some snail adhesive. We'll put that on a very vanilla panel. I've got four Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of this panel just to make it pop on our card. For our leaves, I'm taking the Blossom Punch and I'm taking this long skinny one. And I'm just sliding a strip of cardstock in there just to get that one particular leaf. Get two of those. Then I'm going to take the pointed tip on the bone folder and just draw a line down the center of each. Then you'll be able to give it a little fold. I also use Stampin' Dimensionals on these guys to put them down. I keep positioning them in different places. On my first card I put them up and on the red Valentine card I put them to the side here. I'm gonna do a, a little combo. I'm just having fun with them but they look gorgeous anyway. Our Just For You stamp is from the Mondo Word set Teeny Tiny Wishes. It may be called Teeny Tiny but only because they're Teeny Tiny Words. Not because the set's teeny tiny by any means. Every occasion's in there. You could even specifically make this Valentine's Day or on your wedding day just to really personalize it. I'm taking some soft suede ink. I stamped it just for you on a vanilla scrap. Next I'm using the Bitty Banners Framelits and I like this little curvy one. Okay, on the big shot I have the multi-purpose cutting platform on tab two which is closed. Slide in one cutting pad on top of that then our cardstock and then our bitty frame banner will line that up. When I'm lining that up, I wanted the words to be a little bit towards the end of the banner so I can tuck one so I can tuck this side underneath the flowers. And now I'm taking just a posty note, sticky side right here, sticking it right over there. That's gonna hold this in place. Placing another cutting pad on top of our sandwich and cranking it for the big shot. And out pops our little banner. Perfect. I'm going to wait until our flowers are ready to stick this down. Speaking of our beautiful flowers, don't you just love this flower trim? So the flowers are all on this little netting and we'll just cut off what we need here. Now for the one card I put them right on vanilla and oh my gosh it's just so gorgeous. But I'm going to show you how to dye these because I just think this is so cool. Now you can have them in all Stampin' Up! colors to match the cardstock. The quickest, easiest way to do it is the is using a Stampin' Marker and actually just coloring them in. It does work really nice and it gives you a really pretty look. It's not quite as messy as what we're going to do, but what I really wanted on this card was a, was a rich, deep, dark color. So I'm going to show you how to get that. Step one, so this doesn't look like a CSI crime scene, I am using a latex glove. I'm putting, I just put some drops of our Real Red Classic ink pad refill into just a top of a, a brad container. Now. I've seen this done where you just mix the refill with water and that looks really nice too but it's just not as rich as the full-on reinker. That's the color we're gonna get here. Once that's soaked all in I'm just gonna put a couple more drops right smack dab on top. I don't know if the camera can even pick up how beautiful this coloring is. Now we're gonna enter a little paper towel here 
and just pat that excess off. Okay, <laughs> anybody coming into this video at this moment is probably like, oh my gosh, we are not performing surgery. It really is a beautiful crafting technique. See? It is so worth the look this gives you, and it really isn't as bad as a crime scene on Dexter. You can let this dry, you can put this aside and let it dry, or you can use your heat tool to speed it along, which I'm going to do right now. Okay, through the magic of television, those are mostly dry. I'm going to cut off just one. I'll leave two stuck together. And any excess netting that you could see, I'll cut that off too. Some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of that. Stick it to our card. We'll stick these two right on here. Oh my gosh! It's gorgeous! I put this little tag in last, underneath the flowers. Again, with some Dimensionals, just to, just to give it a little pop. But, oh, I love it! Just for you. And here we have it again with the cream and the red. And I'm sure it would also look great with some pinks or purples. Just a simple, gorgeous, elegant card for just about any occasion. Again, all of these supplies are available in my online store through this URL or click in the description below. Be sure to visit my blog for daily inspiration and tons more video tutorials. Thanks for joining me today.